So obviously the plan is to stay here in Peru for 10 seasons or so, which is quite a long time. I'm going to need somewhere to stay. I'm looking on escapeartist.com because that's the first result that came up in Google when I searched for properties in Lima. And apparently there's only one property available in the whole of Lima. So I, I guess we've got to go for this. We've not really got much of a choice. Now, a big issue is that this is actually an office. Uh, it's not a residential home, but I mean, I've not got a choice. So it, it can be used as both, I suppose. I mean, I'm going to need an office to do all my tactics and transfers from. So if it doubles as my house too, I think that's a worthwhile investment. I mean, it's got a nice view over Lima. Um, it's got a nice, it looks like an empty water feature, but you know, I could fill it up with water at some point, make it nice and homely. Um, it's got some nice tiles on the wall. It's got a lovely parquet floor here. I mean, that's beautiful. That's exactly what you want in a home, isn't it? Um, more parquet floor here, more tiles, you know, a little, no shower, that could be an issue. I might have to do some like sink washing, which I can live with, I suppose, you know, I, I could deal with that. Um, nice big open space here, with nice tiles on the floor. I mean, I could put some carpet in to make it a bit more homely. Yeah, this needs a bit more carpet, but lovely views over Lima right now. Um, beautiful parquet floor again. I mean, this is huge, this, this place is huge. I don't even, this is this is my new house. I'm buying it. I and mean, they love picture of the floor, don't they? And I love the different floor designs. You've got square tiles, diagonal tiles. You've got parquet wood floor. More, <laughs> it's literally just photos of the floor. I love it. This is it. This is my new place. Unless, unless I get sacked, um, which is looking quite likely, I'm afraid. Hello and welcome back to Vamos to the Top. Hope you're all doing well and looking forward to today's episode. And I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone and all your support shown on the first two episodes of this series. You guys have absolutely smashed through the likes target, which is phenomenal. I can't believe um, the level of support you guys have uh, shown it because when you do a new series, there's always a bit of nervousness about will people actually like this? You always want it to be better than the previous series. Um, so you always get quite nervous and always worry that people aren't going to like it, particularly when it's something a little bit out of the ordinary uh, in South America, not Europe. And a lot of people had said, oh, I'm not too keen on a South American save. But it seems like a lot of you guys are enjoying this so far. And uh, I really, really appreciate all your support. It means a lot. So if we could also hit 500 likes on today's video, that would be absolutely monumental. I think we can do it based on the previous few days, likes and stuff like that. So if we can smash it, you guys are absolutely insane. Anyway, that's where the uh, good news ends, I'm afraid. Um, because it's been really terrible, really terrible since you guys were last here. So obviously you were last here for that big 4-0 loss on the opening day of the season, where I'll be honest, I think we were in the game. We were very unlucky to lose it 4-0, I reckon, particularly based off XG and number of shots and things like that. I think we were very unlucky. We obviously then played a ton of friendlies to try and get some morale back into the team, but I also think we were very unfriendly to lose the second game 2-0. I mean, we had more XG, not quite, well, not more XG to be fair, but we had more possession and more more shots and everything. We just got very unlucky. But then you look at this and think, wow, um, maybe it's not unlucky. Maybe we just are bad. So in our first game off camera, we lost it 1-0, despite having double the amount of shots that Universidad had, Kahamaha had, and they scored this absolutely ridiculous goal, which should never have gone on the back of the net. Also worth pointing out their keeper on an 8 rating as well. The next game though, we did actually pick up our first points of the season. Veron got the first goal for the club this season in league competitions, and actually the only goal still. But sadly, we couldn't turn that draw into positive momentum as we lost our next game 2-0, rather frustratingly, we were dominated in this game. For all of those games, we played a five at back formation. So I thought, right, let's switch back to wingers for our final game in between episodes. And we lost it 2-0. But both goals were scored from set pieces, not open play. So I do feel very hard done by, but results have not been great. And as you can see, we are bottom of the table by a long, long way. One point on the board, which is rather frustrating, as you can see. Uh, we're four points off the team in eighth. So it's been a terrible, terrible start to the campaign. Even worse that our supposed relegation rivals, Bia Nacional, are currently first. They've done phenomenal. So that's very confusing and concerning. Today, though, we have a chance to redeem ourselves. You're playing against Cusco in 7th and Alianza Universidad in 8th. So if we're going to win games at some point, it's going to be these two. And to try and help us get these wins, I've gone back to basics. I've gone to a 4-4-2, which seems to really suit the players in this team. And I've gone really basic with 
our mentality and tactical instructions. Essentially, we want to try and play some high tempo football out wide, get the ball out wide and then work it into the middle. To do this, we're going to distribute it to our back line and then pass through the entire team because we actually are pretty decent at passing. And then we're also going to counter and counter press as well to try and stop them getting forward. And then to try and help us stop being so bad at the back, we've gone for some higher lines of engagement and defensive lines to try and win the ball higher up the field rather than just sit back and soak up pressure like we have been doing a little bit. So who knows if it's going to work? Um, I, I'm not feeling confident, but we're going to give it a go. What you can see, though, is that team cohesion is abysmal and club atmosphere is very poor. But they actually are quite supportive of me as a manager, which is quite nice. So I think it's time to not do a team meeting. No suitable reason to hold a team meeting. I'll be honest, I think there is a football manager. I, I really think there is. Well, pff, let's just see how we go then, shall we? Let's... Let's see how it unfolds. This is the team that hopefully is going to be doing the job for us today. You will know some of these players in the back line, uh, such as Marcos Delgado and Gonzalez, who I am moving from centre-back to right-back today on the grounds that he is just a very good full-back on defend. That's his natural position, I feel. But because other players have not been pulling their weight, welcome into the team Jack Safra, who is kind of like the fifth-choice centre-back. But at this point, I I'm tired of trying other people, so we're going to give Jack Safra a run and just see if he can do anything different. Also, we were unable to shift the third Third choice left back Joseph Vega, but maybe that was a pretty good decision in the end because we're going to give him a chance today at left back. We've not even given him a number this season, that's how poorly we think of him, but we're going to give him a go and see what he can do. Our second choice left back is now being promoted to right winger. We've got Obeso, Johnny Obeso, starting at right wing, and he's got a fair bit of pace. He's not too bad at crossing and dribbling, so I think maybe him combining with Gonzalez will be quite nice down this right hand side of the pitch. To complement the left hand side, our first choice left left back is now going to be our first choice left midfielder. So Alvaro Ampuero is coming in to be a winger on the left hand side of the pitch. Technically he is well suited to be a left winger. Decent bit of pace as well so I'm hoping to see plenty of stuff from him. Tuesta is staying in the centre of midfield. He's been like the only bright spark really in this entire series so far on a 6.73 which kind of shows you how poor we have been. But we are going to be pairing him up with Gabriel Delgado who is the young 19 year old who I've just offered a new contract to because he is currently playing in the Peruvian under 20 international team and he is wanted by quite a few teams all on loan but still at some point clubs are going to want him per Permanently. So I've offered him a new three-year deal and hopefully he will stay at the club with his five stars of potential and hopefully will be a focal point of this team for the near future. Up top, we have Gonzalez Vigil, who is our really useless striker that we signed. Um, he has played terribly so far in his five games this season, and I don't expect things to change at all. But he's not advanced forward. He's more of a pressing forward, deep lying forward. So we're going to try him at the deep lying forward today, which means that supposed best player in the team... Gonzalo Veron is starting up top and he's the only person to have scored a league goal for us this season so it makes sense he's going to be the uh, advance forward so we'll give him a go. So a few major changes actually tactically in this team. Um, let's see how it goes shall we. I mean what do I say at this point? Everyone comes into every game looking complacent. I don't know how to quite change that. Um, point the finger and I'm going to say, let's end this poor on a form. And everyone just looked hesitant, unsure, complacent. And this is part of the issue. Basically, what I need to do is just get rid of everyone. Just sign a whole new... T this season's a write-off. I think that's what I'm deciding right now. This season is a write-off. And I need to get my own players into this team that I know are going to play for me. First highlight of the game, though. Solis has the ball in his hands after the headed attempt on goal. He actually made a save, which is quite nice to see. And he sends it long to Varon, who can't win it. And we lose possession immediately. I mean, I don't know why he's doing that, because the tactical instructions are literally play out from the back. I mean, you literally saw that before this game started. And six minutes in, they're ignoring it. Maybe it's not me as a manager. Maybe it's my players who are just ignoring me. I need to sort them out. This time, he has rolled it out to Delgado, which is quite nice. Now, this is what we wanted to see. Some not... <laughs> No, not that. Play it out from the back. We literally have short passing turned on or slightly shorter passing. In fact, I'll, I'll change it now. Short passing. This team have a mind of their own. This is why we're losing games. It's not me. It's not an indictment as me as a manager. It's the fact that these guys cannot do anything right. Ugh. I mean, I don't need that property, do I? I don't need that home office thing, do I? I mean, there's no point me renting it because I'm not going to be here very long. I'll just stay in the travel lodge or something like that for indefinitely. You know, that that's what I'm going to have to do, I think. There's no point me staying. Oh, I'm buying a place. This is terrible. 
If we can score a goal right now though, which we can't, I might have felt better. We missed the header and here comes the Cusco counter-attack. Why are these players terrible? I'm fed up. I'm fed up of this. How are we going to turn this around? How? I don't know. 2-0. I can't believe how naive I am. I really thought this was going to turn our whole fortune around. This formation change played to our strengths a bit. I thought this was really going to change things for us. Uh, instead, it's done, it's done nothing. Absolutely nothing. If anything, made us worse. We've had one shot all game so far. That's the worst we've been for weeks. Oh my gosh. We've just scored a goal. I didn't even bother talking because I just knew nothing was going to ha Maybe this is on. This is a great ball from Baron, by the way. That's a, Why has he not done that all season? Also, frustratingly, the first time he puts a good cross into the middle, he's playing as a striker. Why is he on the wing like that when he's meant to be in a striker in the area? I mean, I won't question it. I won't question it. But we're back in this game all of a sudden. We're back. We've actually scored a goal. This is 50% of all the goals we've scored this season. And it also shows 50% of all the goals we've scored this season. And I didn't even bother commentating on it because I had no faith in this team whatsoever. So, half time, 2 1. Fantastic stuff. You've just seen us score 50% of our whole goal tally this season. I mean, you should be honoured. The second half, though, is uh, racing by. Okay, we need to sort this out a little bit. I mean, we've got nothing to lose, have we? We have nothing to lose at this stage. So why don't we just push people forward a little bit? Maybe, potentially, you know, make people like wing backs on attack. See if that helps things a little bit. We'll overlap on the left and right. Look for those overlaps to try and get balls into the middle. You know, let's put some whipped crosses in the middle, shall we? Hit some early crosses into the area. We've not got tall strikers, I don't think. I think Veron is like maybe 5'10 and Vigil is 6 foot, 5'9 okay well, so they're not big strikers essentially let's go a little bit more attacking with it all shall we and confirm those changes I'm also going to shout encourage to the team let's get a point out of this game I'm feeling confident I know we can do it despite Cusco's absolute dominance in this game and, and mad XG as well I I don't know if this 4 4 is the way to go or not I really don't know but we are going to take Vigil off the pitch for Brian uh, we are going to take Twester off the pitch for Moyo, and we are going to take Delgado off the pitch for this guy, Alessandro Milisi, who is uh, Italian as well as Peruvian, but he's more of a left back than a than a than a centre back, but can play left centre back, which is quite nice. Okay, so three changes made ten minutes ago, and there is a highlight. Let's win possession, shall we? And let's get ourselves up the other end of the pitch. All nearly conceded a goal. We're still in it, boys. We're still in it. I'm going very attacking. I'm going to shout demand more. I mean, I don't know what else I can do at this stage, really. But is it bad that we've lost this game, but I'm happy because we've actually scored a goal? It's progress. I mean, morale is just through the floor. Everyone's unhappy right now. No one is feeling good. So let's let's get some friendlies in here to boost morale a little bit, shall we? Let's get on the Tuesday and the Saturday, shall we? Let's just get some nearby teams. You and nearby teams uh, you let's just get them confirmed in and hopefully win some friendlies but at least Gabriel Delgado has committed to a new contract an extra £150 per week in his contract but it's for three years he's here until 2024 which is beautiful I think in these friendlies I'll get the assistant manager to run them but I do want to stick with the 442 I think also for what it's worth I have scouted out the entire Peruvian under 20 team no one's interested in signing for us particularly, uh, which is a big issue. And anyone who is actually decent is only a second division quality player. Um, which maybe says something about our ambitions. At least we've won 10-2 in that friendly we just played though, uh, which is quite good. I've no idea how good this other team were, but I'm going to presume not very. It is slightly concerning that we did concede two goals in that. But, you know, hopefully that's going to, you know encourage our players somehow like they scored 10 goals in that game they know what to do to score goals just do it in the league only 5-1 in the other friendly so I'm going to assume this team was like an under 15 team as opposed to an under 12 team that we may have played in the previous game but it still wins you know 15 goals scored in those two games if we could just get like two or three in this game it'd be quite nice and in fact what I might do for this game actually is 
you know, I'm maybe picking the wrong team. Maybe my assistant manager knows what he's doing. Potentially. Maybe he doesn't. I don't know. But <sighs> what's the harm? What's... We can't do any worse, can we? I'll quick pick it. I've quick picked it. Maybe he's onto something, though. Maybe he's just like, well, our senior players aren't playing well. Let's just trust the youth. See what the youth can do. Trust them. And you know what? It's a move that I think I'd be quite tempted to maybe just stick with. You know, why play the established good players or supposedly good players if they're not performing? You know, the youth is the future. Why not play them as we're through? Moyano. Oh, Moyano puts it just wide. I think that's something we actually we might do. I think I might just play every player with five-star potential just in the hope that they get regular game time and it helps them develop to be a better player in the future. So 16 minutes into this game, it's nil-nil, which actually I think is a really big positive. Like this is not usual for us. Usually we're at least one nil down by now and have no chance of scoring. But as we come down the right-hand side of the pitch, the cross is not put in the middle, but we might have just won a penalty. Sandoval has gone down in the area and the referee is checking the VAR. I'll be honest, I have no idea who's meant to be taking penalties because I fully know that I've not sorted out my penalty takers. That's just occurred to me because this is the first penalty we're going to have all season. So I have no idea who's on penalties and who's good at penalties. Can I quickly press the change button if it comes up? No, I can't because there's no penalty. Oh, for goodness sake. Was it even a free kick? So basically what you're saying is that Sandoval dived. Right. Well, why has he not been given a yellow card for it then? I mean, if, he, if he's... We have conceded a few of these wonder goals. You saw one from In Between Episodes, right? It was a bit of a wonder goal. And, and this guy just decides to take a shot from 25, 30 yards out and put to absolute perfectly top bins. Ha and the last time that happened, we lost it 1-0. I can guarantee you we'll lose this game 1-0 now. And it's thanks to a bloody wonder goal, which Shalise should have saved. We just need to get ourselves back in this game. I feel like we have been in it, and we are on the edge of the area. Veron goes for a wonder goal of his own. <sighs> Gonzalo Veron has just pulled off the impossible. And by impossible, I mean actually scoring a goal for us. Wow. I mean, he's only the... <sighs> Look at this. Beautiful curling effort into the top corner. Veron... Very, very inconsistent, but when he does want to perform, he will put an incredible cross into the middle, or he'll just score an absolute wonder goal into a top corner. 1-1 one, one at half time. I can feel this. I can feel this. We're going to be on for a win here today. I know we are. The win is going to come to us, and it's going to be via this free kick. Oh my gosh, it nearly was as well. It nearly was, but we do hold on to possession, and Pura on the ball who is very good at free kicks, apparently. Um, gets it into Sandoval. Gets it into Moyano. Back to Sandoval. Can we just find that killer ball into the middle? No, we can't. But it is out wide. Can we get a cross into the middle, please? In the middle, please. Or shoot, or something. Cross it. Vigil scores. No way. We're winning. We're winning. This is important because this is the second time we started winning a game. Last time we drew it. But this, we might... We're winning. We're winning. Oh my word, we're winning. But we have 45 minutes to hold on because it's right at the start of the second half. 45 minutes to hold on. I think we keep things as they are right now. Let's not change things too much until we get to the... <sighs> Thing is, I would say let's go a bit more defensive in the end of the game. But we invite so much pressure onto us anyway. This... Could be another goal. Moyano. Oh my word. Oh my word, Moyano. I am so excited. This is the most exciting Vamos to the top has been so far. I can't believe this. We are on the cusp of winning a game, everyone. Viewers, strap yourselves in for an eventful 30 minutes at the end of this game as Tuesta in the area gets it into Gonzalo Vigil, who's too small, 5'9", can't win it in the air. And Alianza Universidad bring it out from the back. And they just kick it into the back of their players' feet, which is nice because we retain possession and Solis doesn't let it go in the back of his net. That's always a big plus there as... Uh, the highlight finishes. Perfect. Corner for us. Ampuro into the middle. It's clear by the first man. You hate to sit, but Ampuro is going to get there himself and he's going to put that ball back into the middle. I can't believe this. We are playing liquid football right now. Gonzalo into Sandoval. Oh, he hits the post. You hate to see it and was offside in the process. Wow. Things are heating up right now. I cannot believe this. We could be about to win a game. Moyano on the ball. Forward to Veron. 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 Veron can't do anything. But 
Might have just won a penalty for us. Oh my goodness gracious me. Again, no idea who's on penalties for us. And the, oh, it's their keeper who's like having to go at the referee right there. I thought our keeper run the whole length of the pitch there. He hasn't. But we have been given a penalty, which Veron, give it to Veron. Give it to Veron. I trust him. And he's, he's on it. He won the penalty. Is he about to make this a two goal lead? inject this into my veins i cannot believe what we're seeing here today this this is it this is the turnaround this is the formation that we need to use this is vamos to the top oh i am so happy i'm so happy like we've gone so long without winning or even looking like winning and i'll be honest today looks like it should be a draw based on the match stats but things are going well right now for us okay let oh god no let's not get too ahead of ourselves tom no no, 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 no. I'm not having this. Oh, this, oh, how, oh, that's, that's, who's on my line there? Cordova, you should have really done something better there. Right, let's make some changes. Let's, let's get a fresh set of legs at the back. Let's get Rocha on at the back. Let's get Ampura off because he's not played very well, but no one can change places with him. Um, right, uh, can anyone reasonably play there? Rodriguez can reasonably play there, which means that if we take Ampura off at left back, Vega, on you come. Okay, so two changes at the back. Let's change something in the centre of midfield. Uh, Moyano's played excellently here today, so let's get Twester off instead for Gabriel Delgado. Okay, confirm those changes. Press play. Ten minutes to go. I'm going to encourage the team. Oh, God, it's it's gone badly. Everyone's face has gone red. No. I didn't mean to upset you all. Please don't concede now. Please don't concede now. Please do not con. <sighs> I'll be honest. I, I, I genuinely feel more happy about winning this game than I did the Champions League with Wrexham. I, I can't believe it. This feels like a bigger achievement than the Champions League with Wrexham. Oh, I can't believe what we've done here today. 3-2. We, we've not just scored goals, which is... In fact, hang on. That game, we scored more goals than we had done in the previous seven combined. The previous seven combined. Also, this does really indicate that my team selection is terrible. Um, and I should never be trusted with a team selection at all. Because this is a manager pick that team. But what we know is that this sort of team is absolutely superb. And I'm surprised because Tuesta and Moyano, I think, actually should be swapped over. I mean, Tuesta has got a right foot. And he's a centre mid on attack, not a Carrillero. Uh, if we go back to this, Moyano has got... I mean, he is a Carrillero, not a centre mid on attack. Um, but, but there we go. It worked quite nicely, apparently. Oh, I can't believe this. I'm so happy. I am so, so happy. So this now means that we're moving into the actual League One, uh, which I'm very confused about because I was under the impression that all our points carried over. Uh, which they do carry over. Okay, there we go. Just on this screen, it says nothing. Uh, and then on this screen, it says eight games. So right now, we genuinely are in the relegation zone and things are not looking great. However, we're only three points off 14th. And that's something that I think we could be happy about. And we're in great form now. We've won a game. Those friendlies really paid off, didn't they? Those friendlies really paid off. So uh, next game is like a cup game in the middle of June in like two weeks time. And then we have like over a month off until we actually get started in the league. I reckon we come back for the start of this. I reckon we come back here and just get going with it and just see how we do. I am absolutely elated and I hope you guys are as well. This is the proper start now. This is the proper start of Vamos to the top. We are a new team with this 4-4-2 and my assistant manager picking the team for me, but we're a new team. And I feel like this is now the start of something good. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you drop a like on it for me. Subscribe for new rounds here and leave a comment down below for the YouTube algorithm. Until next time, have a good one. Goodbye.